Definitely. So uh, you followed guys to the end. Is that what's going on? Yeah, and when the end keeper opens up the door, I'm gonna be hanging like the head in front of the door. So when he opens it, it's the first thing he sees. <laughs> like holy oh shit! My gosh. <laughs> You're falling over in the side. <laughs> Crash. Keeper rolls a poop check. <laughs> Heart attack check. Heart attack check. <laughs> he shits his pants and uh... I like peer over the door. Oi, boy, let's get some drinks. <laughs> All right, so he, he opens up. He opens up the bar for you, lights up the lights, and starts serving drinks. You guys get as much as you want, and... Uh... I'm actually going to use this jet to like, grab some rations, essentially, for the next couple of days as well. So how many rations can I get out of like just kind of taking food and prepping it? <laughs> um, you could probably sneak Just away. Just filled too. up the bug head with guys. Don't worry. Yeah, you could probably sneak that? away. You know, rolls and whatnot. You know, so you could you could probably get a couple days, two or three days worth of rations snuck into your pack. <laughs> okay. Is he serving us food too? Yeah, he's serving food. But okay. Yeah, people are showing up. Is is the the news is spreading? Oh, the town's awake now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I definitely want two days worth of rations and. Sneak those into my pack. All right. Actually, three days worth. Of one for Kuno, two for me. All right. Well, um, you know, it's getting later and later, and guys are drinking themselves. To I was sleep gonna say, and... I'm. I will eat my fill and then ask about sleeping arrangements. Yeah. Um. So. You can take over one of the empty houses if you want. Or, uh, of course, you could rent a room. It might, he would probably let you stay in a room for free this one night if you wanted. Oh, it's gonna Sounds it's gonna good for paid. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh... All right. Yeah. When I see Kathleen heading up to her room, I inquire about getting one also. All right. He, he, he gives you, hands you some keys, tells you which room it is. Uh, I'm is before it like I head 3 up. or four in the morning now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's late. It's really late. Before I head up, I I inquire about him. You know about those uh, few pieces of silver that he was gonna scrounge up for us, possibly for uh, killing this thing. <laughs> he says, "Yeah, we'll we'll have something for you in the morning. Don't worry." I I wink and nod, and I was like, "I'm." I'm gonna go to sleep too, and I'm actually just gonna I'm gonna keep that uh, trophy. I'm gonna take it upstairs with me. I'm just gonna keep it around for a while. <laughs> okay. Are oh, we all in the same room or three separate rooms? Um, there, there's two rooms available, so you could probably do either all in the same room or two rooms. I assume Kathleen's gonna want her own room. I was gonna say Probably. anything, but with Carl, with his incessant humming. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's right. Cause I, I hum even my fucking sleep at this point. Oh my gosh. Oh, my yeah. dog whimpers slowly in her sleep as she has to hear that. <laughs> or he. Yeah. Right, I'll share the room with Carl. Okay. And his insect head. All right. All right. Sounds good. So. Uh... I had to sleep and don't plan to wake up till late morning. Okay. All right. I'm gonna laugh if someone is still found dead in the morning. It was actually <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you guys wake up in the morning. Why? Why? Why would you even suggest such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wake up um, late in the morning. Head's aching. Um, assume you guys are gonna head downstairs. Yep, I head down. Okay. Um, can sit at a table or a bar. Um, the innkeeper's wife. You know, she heads over and tells you, you know, I, and I, I can't express how much we're all grateful to you guys. 
who knows how many lives you've saved. And uh, she goes, you guys wait right there. I'm, I'm going to cook something up special for you guys this morning. So uh, you smell, Thank you smell very much. bacon cooking from inside and back in the kitchen and for long she's serving you up eggs bacon potatoes all the all the good stuff um maybe an hour later <laughs> the uh in cooper you know he strolls out obviously with a hangover and he uh he drops a sack on the table you hear clinking and he, he says you know your work was probably worth a lot more than this, but this is all we have. So, uh, we're eternally grateful. You are always welcome in our town. Wait, this is everything they have? As far as money wise, yeah. Uh, how much is it? How much is in the bag? about 113 it's 113 worth of silver uh, there'll be some copper mixed in there but yes yeah, 113 uh huh I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a few more to buy some more rations just gonna stock up on rations get some nice. make sure even if we get lost we aren't bad i tell the innkeeper thank you thank you very much we it was a pleasure to have helped you guys glad we could have been a service is this 113 that we're splitting the three ways then? Yes. I feel it would be fair to give Arrow a little bit larger cut because he was the bait. So that comes up to 37.6 uh, in between. The How much three... was the total? 113? Yeah. yeah. 113. Okay. I'm also going to ask 30. the uh, I'm also going to ask the uh, bartender to see if he can drop the weighted net that I used to, or that I ended up not using, to back to the fisherman uh, down I, that I uh, bought it from, or rented it from, I guess. So says, yes, yes, I'll make sure it gets to him. So, um... It's uh, 10.45, so should we call it a night? Oh, we best hit... So, how, how, how are we splitting this, like... Uh... What if we do 35 for each of us, and the last bit for Carl? So we get about 10 more. Okay. Okay. Sound fair to you guys? Yeah. So, 35 right. plus 7. I give my 35 back to the innkeeper. Whew. Okay. And I'm the crazy one. <laughs> this is all the money they have. This is well, everything I was going to go have. spend it on something in their stalls, but if you just want to give it back willy-nilly, jeez. I mean, if you spend money in the marketplace, that helps promote economy and stuff, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm actually I mean, gonna go you're, into you're basically stall, though. taking stuff from them either way. If you're spending it back, it you're just taking food instead of money. That's but. not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a degree in economics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I glance at Delene with a surprise look in my face, but don't motion to give mine back. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tip the bartender. Uh, Two silver pieces, though, because he was the one who did basically give us this job. Um, and a lot of booze. And then I'm also gonna, but I'm gonna go look into the market and replenish the rope and the torches that I used, which would cost a silver piece and a uh, copper as well. Okay. Um, and they'll give it to you for that price because they're grateful. Um, prices are inflated in general here, though. So after this. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'll tip the barkeeper and his wife five silver and keep the rest. Okay. And express my gratitude for uh, his help. All right, and and they thank you. And again. hospitality. So um, you can each note down four hundred XP. 
400 XP. Yay, we're on the way, guys. We're the best. Slider got jipped. We fucked up that critter, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what was the damage roll, die roll, if he was to hit someone? He, he only had a 1d6 attack. So, oh, um, only. 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 But he did have 20, I mean, 22 only... HP and 16 AC. Damn. Oh, Jesus. Uh, He's a beefy little shit. Yeah, and his movement was 142, so he was Ooh. faster than he oh. was. He could run away. <laughs> Wait, is that two faster than a person runs? That is three times. Oh, 142 in combat? Yeah. No, it was 142 in, in, in general, so he was not multiple times faster than you, but faster than you. So and combat, oh, that would have worked out to, you know, about 50 feet combat. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so, you know, you guys could split up and just one of you die. But <laughs> I'm glad I was up in the bell tower where I would have, like, Godzilla climb up to get to me. Yeah, exactly. If Honestly, if we had to something and run away, I'd just tell Carl that there was much glory and honor if he fought it and then run. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I will sing songs about you in the afterlife. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> I don't have to be faster than the enemy. Just my slowest friend. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Which is me, by the way. I'm definitely the most yep. encumbered out of all of you. Yeah. <laughs> I would be more encumbered, but my dog is carrying some of my gear. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, so, so it's probably... Is it around midday or so by the time we finish all this? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Honestly, my character, or Roland, really is not in much of a hurry to leave the town, since we're having a good time here. Uh, I know Kathleen was probably getting nervous. I am chomping on the bit to basically get to Wordsburg. Okay. Alright, if you insist, we can go there. I mean, I, I hear Carl's drunk, so can we actually leave? Uh, I'm, I'm good to go wherever, as long as there is treasure and killing to be had. Oh, could I buy a few more oil flasks? Um, yes. Um, is that today, a fair Today is normal price. City? Today is normal, um, rural. Normal price. rural cost, okay. Yeah. Hey, Vio, you could buy ho holy water. Did you ever I give the holy water back, or do you still have it? Still have it. I, they don't know I took it. <laughs> Might want to get a second uh, water skin. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Just a second water skin. How much do water I, skin I shouldn't cost? have told you that. Then you would have died of thirst tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I could have just drink the. I could just drink the holy water. Yeah, the holy water's not gonna kill. True, true. I'll be right back. How much does water skin co uh, water skin cost though again? Um, uh, it's one silver. Okay, I'll do that. Did I buy two more oil flasks? Okay. Alright, I'm ready to ship out whenever. Alright, I'm ready to go. I think Kathleen is probably leading us because she has the map and the one who wants to keep going. What have the villagers done with the corpse, though? Oh, yeah, I'll curious. go out and see. <laughs> yeah, I can go out and see it. Um, geez, I... I mean, I'm, I'm guessing like that at this point, the they're, they're, kind of they're kind of poising. They're kind of posing with it. You know, there's no cameras at the time, but they're still like, you know, especially the the few younger people that are left back in town. You know, are. Climbing on it and pretending to. Oh dang! I bet there was some yeah. magical material we could have gotten from that if we actually knew what magic was. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably some, like magical healing stuff inside of it or something. <laughs> You'll never know. 
<laughs> nope. Okay. Wow, we did that with no casualties, no damage either. Yeah, no damage. I know that was surprising. We've been the one. <laughs> the I think that one level zero shitbag was in the way. Uh, and even he, you know, he got hurt. I mean, he was fucked up, but he lived. He's totally getting fucking laid, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fought off <laughs> that insect. <laughs> He's the only one with battle scars from it. Yeah. <laughs> and he hit it, too. He hit it. He hit it pretty fucking hard, too, considering. Yeah. Stabbed it with a pitchfork. <laughs> right. Whatever Guardian's back, I'm going to follow his lead as we head out of town. Okay. I'm also, um, my stat sheet online, I'm adding up all the different attack modifiers you can possibly have, including cover, so we can easily refer to that later. Okay. I'll be on the one with all the explosives and that kind of stuff. <laughs> Unacceptable, Vile. And my plan paid off. Didn't get hit. It did not. Neither did anyone else, but... <laughs> I know, but they can afford to get hit. Exactly. I learned a good lesson of combat. Always put the NPCs in front of me. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Just blocking the door. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of completely by accident, too. I wasn't even thinking about that when I stuck them there. <laughs> I was just spreading them out. Yeah, the only thing I specifically did was put on the back, but luckily that guy ended up being on the door. Yeah. So what's going on now? Okay, so we're going to be following uh, Kathleen out of town. Out of town is the south side. So, last why are you so uppity to get somewhere? Okay, so um, how encumbered is the most encumbered of you guys? I am definitely the most encumbered, and I actually should have, let's see, I need to recheck because I dropped the net. How much does the head count as? The head? <laughs> Is that an oversized item? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just count it as, as one slot, it's fine. Yeah, and a bug's head's not that big. Actually, only yeah, I only have two encumbrances actually because I only have the eleven items and I don't have the chainmail. So okay. Oh, I actually did my surprise attack wrong. Uh, it was supposed to be on a roll. Of, you had to roll a one to four on a d6 to successfully attack from surprise. Oh. Well, so if you roll that, then you learning. get the. Uh, you you would have hit. Anyway, I think I had like so. a nineteen anyways. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah, you would have hit anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, okay, so you guys are moving at a rate of 18 miles a day. It's already halfway, so... Um... So we'll move about 9 miles today? Yep, we'll move about 9 miles. So, you know, you guys are hiking along the trail, along the river. Um, you're not really seeing much of anything you know uh we were passing some farms and cottages but there's no smoke coming out and we can't hear anything with this incessant humming yeah that's pretty much what you hear is the humming and you know birds guardian's character is and very uh, cranky all the time <laughs> 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 oh man and uh let's see here and it's starting to get dark and uh um, Let's see here. 
So, uh, roll on, roll a surprise roll. Um, unmodified or anything for the dog? Um, plus one for the dog. That's just a d6 then? Yes. Yes. So definitely failed that. Yeah, so you failed that. So, um... Okay. So, um... As the sun's starting to set, you start to, uh, you guys are walking down the road, out of the bushes, you see some mangy, starving looking dogs start to wander out, and, uh, There's seven of them. Oh, wait. There's 14 of them. Let me just that. Do they look aggressive? No, thanks. No, there's eight of them. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. They are, they like they are definitely, they are definitely aggressive. They are starting to surround you guys. And they, I'm just going to I'm gonna throw... I'm going to throw one of my ten rations on the ground in front of them and see what happens. The, you know, one of them cautiously walks up to it and sniffs it. And then gulps it down. But the others are still, they're still closing up in on you. Eight, All right. eight more rations. <laughs> <laughs> eight more rations? Um, yeah. the one that put down, does he look satisfied, or looks like he's gonna be showing the back? I have nine more yeah. rations. I, I put myself... He, do, he took a bite out, you know, he took a bite out of it, and he's grabbing the rest of it, and, and kind of running off with it. Oh. I will be helpful, and I will toss out, uh, a ration also. One? One. Okay. So they'll, they'll be I did not grabs it and runs off. I did not stock up like Vile did. So <laughs> <laughs> we just feeding the dogs now or gonna kick out like <laughs> So you're down to six dogs that, that are like they're just a lot, you know, they're they're closing in. Alright, well I'm just gonna take one more ration. I'm gonna split it up into two pieces, I'm gonna give one to each one of those halves to each dog, because these are day <laughs> rations. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm going to say two more uh, then run off. So you're you're down to four four dogs, but the the four are still not backing off. Hey, Kathleen, I'm going to do you it again. Rations? I'm down to seven rations with this. I'm going to do it again for two more dogs. Okay, okay, you're down. For then two. I will spend two rations. All right, all right. So I guess they all run off then. Not a fan of killing dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like if we could just feed them a ration, might as well. <laughs> According to the rules, I don't know if that counts as XP. <laughs> it, it, is combat resolved without conflict? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling da -da 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 generous tonight. Two for boys, we are the, the best. <laughs> But that, I'll give some XP for that. Slide is going to come in so underleveled. Yeah, so, um... Um... Well, that's just another 40 XP each, anyway. So, yeah. Per dog, or per... Oh, per total? Person. Yeah, each of you okay. gets that. We should be at 440 total. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, and then you know it's getting dark out, so you can either set up camp or continue marching through the night. 
I look towards, uh, Evelyn. How far are we? Uh, we are... How far away are we? Um, you have to tell me how far you think you are, but... I'm not gonna tell you how far you are. Alright, oh, let's see. Okay. I'm, the, I'm the highest income with, with an encumbrance of two, and for marching speed, that's... I mean, I, I can tell you guys that you, you are we along the river. We did encounter the dogs, too. You're along the river. You can, <laughs> see, you can see mountains to the south. Um, okay. There's, a uh, you know, about a mile ago, you, you passed uh, a fork in the river. Okay. Uh, we are about five miles outside of the nearest town, Thungit. Okay. Because we can travel, because we can travel 18 miles per day, uh, with uh, l when we're lightly encumbered, when I'm lightly encumbered. So I just say, let's just march to that town. So we'll get there in the middle of the night. Yeah, I hand everybody a torch that if they don't have one already. So I the... pretend I don't have a torch and accept yours. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a torch because it's on my dog. I have ten of them, so I do not care. And Guardian, do you have a torch? Or Kathleen, do you have a torch? I do not. Okay. He's sophisticated. He has a lantern. I give him a torch just because I don't like new things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So... Do we, we don't need a bushcraft check to light them. I assume we have a lot of time to make that happen. Um... You know, I'm sorry, what was that? We don't need, like, a bushcraft skill check to actually light the torch, right? No, no. Okay. I assume one of you has, you know... I have a fire skill. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So. Thank God, because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to light it. <laughs> Guardian, do you have a tinderbox, too? I mean, Kathleen. I do not. Alright, I can use mine to light all three. Okay, it's a good thing. Uh, we only need one at a time right now, so... It's just so that everybody has one. Okay. So, uh, while we march, I'm Please gonna don't hum. die and take our only tinderbox, you. <laughs> okay. Do I'm both of gonna... you have girls? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm just gonna hum. Forced to marching through the night. So we're following a rough road, right? So it's less likely we'll get lost. Okay. So, um... Is that correct? Are we on the road? Yeah, so you, uh... Um... You wander into the town of Thung... Thungin. Dungeon? I don't know. I should probably Google Translate. Um... <laughs> in the, uh... <laughs> In the, You're the GM, uh, you can name it whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Thungan. In the, um, you know, it's, it's late, the moon is high in the sky, it's uh, probably about midnight by now, but you wander into Is the anybody town. out in the streets? Um, yes, there, there's a group of armed men that, that walk up to you and say, Halt! Oh! Hail there! Real, real fast, is this... From what we can see, is this town larger than uh, Wernick? Does it have a wall around it or anything? Or is it still yeah. like a farming village type thing? Yeah, it's still a farming village. It's, it's actually smaller than the previous town. Okay, but there's armed guards. Yes. Okay. Don't know if they're guards. It might be that fucking Karlstadt militia. Oh, or... Could, yes, we are much, much closer to Karlstadt right now. Hail! One of them walks forward. What, what's your uh, business here? Traveling through. Traveling through, huh? Well, I guess we'll take you to the inn. Come with us. What do you mean you'll take us to the inn? Why can't we just uh, walk there by ourselves? Listen, we don't know who you guys are. Carl, uh, maybe now's not the time. We don't, we don't know who you guys are. 
You guys need to go talk to Ditmar. Or decide what you guys are gonna, what we're gonna do with you guys. Fair enough. Let's go. Who's asking? Who are like who? Who are they employed by? Ditmar's in charge of this town. And he is a. I'm just ready to go to bed. Who's Let's just go. Who's the boss man? I just like shake my head, whatever, and get going. Okay, so they lead you. Yeah, you, you, you just ignore the old guy. We'll, we'll follow you guys. <laughs> 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 He's had a long day of traveling. He don't worry about him. Okay, I I, I, I start, start humming incessantly day. again. By the way, I've been humming the entire way through the march too, but I really fucking make it loud for the other guys. <laughs> He's mostly harmless. He has a giant eight foot head on his back. <laughs> What, oh, one God, of the three guys right. starts to draw his sword, and the one who had been talking to you shakes his head and puts his sword back. And they start walking down the road towards the end. I'm getting the feeling this might have been a mistake. You're the one who wanted to come here. Just keep How, many head about you. March here. How many men are here around us? There's three men. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, and it's like two in the morning, something like that. It's about midnight. Midnight. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I follow. So I'll staying wary. Okay. All right. So the three of you guys, you walk to the inn. Um, there's more a bigger, bigger group of rowdy guys inside the inn. They're all armed. Bed touch. Bed. And uh, in the corner, it's a guy. He's got an eye patch on. Oh, he, like he's, he's a badass. We don't want this. He looks <laughs> kind of worse for the wear. <laughs> and uh, the guys lead you over to him. They wave you over. Saddle right up. All right. Detmar, I presume. Yeah, that's me. What's your business around here? Like I told you, boy, we're just traveling through, possibly working for work. We are looking to get to Wurzburg. Going to Wurzburg, huh? Oh, you see, there's a there's a toll for passing through here. Use our ro a road toll you to pass through toll. your town. That's right. That's right. Bad That's juju. Absurd. Bad juju. How many men are there around us right now? Oh, there's oh, three I I plus another ten. And then Dimar, and guardians so like, oh shoot, how can I get 14, away? About fourteen of them. Are there any powder barrels nearby? Mm. No. There's a, okay. Okay. There's a, I there's hope a barkeeper. Not. We're also in the explosion. <laughs> there's a barkeeper, and uh, there's a probably the barkeeper's wife who's uh, serving the men, getting her ass grabbed. Are they like being forced to serve the men. Are they just like? Are they actually? Is it basically okay. like glorified bandits set up the ta set up in the town? You're, yeah. You're getting the feeling that the uh, innkeeper is not is not happy. That they are there. And it's already it's midnight, and these guys are all from the innkeeper awake at this time. Yes. I'm actually gonna pay close attention. Are they paying for their booze or food? No. Okay. Kill them time sometime. Uh. <laughs> and and I I look at Ditmar and and what's this toll you're talking about? You saw tell is looking you guys up and down trying to. Trying to gauge. I'm, I'm, I, like, the fucking, the head right now, the head of the thing that I killed this last night is, like, draped on my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure he can fucking see it. <laughs> what <a> bad man. <laughs> he looks at his, what the fuck is that thing? Something I killed last night. <laughs> Huh. Taking it to Wordspad, seeing if they can break down the head for something. Otherwise, it's a nice trophy. In 
Interesting. Sportsman's always looking for a good collection. Interesting. I'm, I'm going to say, can we just pause for a second? It would be glorious if, like, he collects heads of everything we kill. <laughs> I think that's his plan. <laughs> that would be way too much, Kinda though. Kind of getting that vibe. <laughs> And then we can't travel anywhere if he has all this encumbrance. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, man. He's dragging it behind him. Okay, sorry. Play. Really sick, you guys. I might be looking to hire a couple guys. If you're looking for work. Oh, My demeanor like kind of changes a little. And, uh, what type of work you talking? Are you serious? <laughs> well, you guys don't have weak stomachs, do you? You look like men to me. I glance at Captain Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Except for you. But, you know, we can put you to work, class. Don't worry. Excuse me? <laughs> Say you we talk about this in the morning. It's late and we've been traveling long. Agreed. I'm excited. He's like, I'd be happy to sit down and with a drink with you in the morning. Uh, if we can get a room to rent here. He says, "All right, all right." Talk to the innkeeper. By the way, how would you describe Ditmar's voice? Ditmar's voice, probably a deep yeah. voice. Deep voice. But he doesn't speak loudly. He expects you to listen. Okay. Okay, uh, I walk up to the innkeeper. Yeah, um... Hey, how much is the room? Yeah, yeah, um... Yeah, it's, it's five coppers? Five coppers a night? Are you asking us out of character? In character? No, that's him. That's him. Five, 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 okay. five coppers tonight for a room. How much for some food and drink? Five coppers? Yeah, I, I, I only have one room left. I only have one room left. Things are short supply around here. I mean, if you want, if you want, you can just give the money to Ditmar. Wait, I glance at it. Why? Mm. Mm. I, I lean a little bit closer. That why would we not pay you? Who are these folk, anyways? You can tell you, he's kind of he, he he doesn't know what to say at first. He's like, listen, listen, we we don't want any trouble around here. Um, these these are just the guys in charge. They're in charge around here. How long have they been in charge? Oh, you know, um, about, I guess, nine, ten days? Ten days now. Ten days. I glance, I, I, oh boy. Yeah, I glance at the other two party members, exactly how long the sorcerers have been there. You know, you know where these boys from? Oh, they're from around, they're from around. Um, Dittmar grew up here. We we knew him when he was young. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like really close to his face. I'm gonna tell him cut the shit. Are these guys bandits or not? You can see I'm like starting to sweat now. And just kind of looking around. He's, Looking over at Ditmar and back at you, and Ditmar and back at you, and it's like a, we we don't want any trouble around here. We don't want any trouble. They're they're in charge. Uh, we don't intend on seeing any trouble tonight, do we? I I look at Kathleen and I'll relax for a bit and I'll start humming again. I call the innkeeper. All right. Well, thank you. We'll take the room, and then I very discreetly slip him five copper. Okay. I also ask him. He has uh, that I had. I also give him uh, two silver pieces, and I ask. I tell him to have uh, warm food ready in the morning if he can. Say yes, sir. Uh, then yes, I sir. 
Then I head back to Dietrich. Is that his name? Dietrich? Denmar. Sorry, Denmar. Uh, head back to him and uh, say, Hey, innkeeper told me to pay you five silver, five copper for the room. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, he takes it. He's all right. You're welcome in my inn. All right, I'll talk to you in the morning. Yes, you will. Um, you guys want to follow me up the stairs? Yes. All right. So once we are, is this a two-story building? Like, oh, yeah. there are stairs, right? Um, yes, there are. Does the room we have have a window? Um. Yes, it does. Good. What can we see out the window? Um, it's. Yeah, you know, it's dark out. You know, there's the town. There doesn't seem to be many people around, except you know, a couple of groups of men walking around with torches. Is the, three, the, three the men room very? Right. What was that? Is it a pretty poor room? Like, are there even three beds in it? No, no. There's one bed. They could probably sleep two people, and uh, three if you squeeze. Listen, I'm not going to go sleep on the floor. Um, so once we close the door in the in the room, I talk to uh, both Kathleen and Chris. Kurt, your name is Carl. Carl, Carl sorry, <laughs> Carl. I uh, talk in a very low voice. So these guys are obviously bad news here. I think it might be a good idea not to spend the night here. And we do have a window. We could sneak out. Out the window. Walk down the street that has men all over it. I'm I'm actually like how many so can we see like what patrols the streets have right now like because the torches right so yeah so you can see them um, I mean there's not a lot of them there's probably two groups that you've seen the one that you, that you had met earlier and another one seems to be seems to be roaming Kathleen you want to you want to stay here hey, when all these people know exactly where we are they're obviously nothing but trouble obviously. They might have a job for us in the morning. Besides, I cannot believe what I'm hearing out of your mouth, Carl. He says the one who just gave all of their silver from a job well, well done back to the innkeep. He does have a point. You call me the crazy one. I'm, I'm simple. You, you on the other hand, you have machinations. You're Still. profiting from other people's suffering. We did a job that deserved to be paid for. You did a job that any Christian would do. Fah! <laughs> Christian. Hey, hey, settle down, you two. Either way, these people are not think about trouble. Oh, well, we could try but... killing them. We counted, what? 13, 16 men, two patrols of three, we isolate them down, that brings it down to uh, seven. Good first engagement, we could kill probably two or three. And is this then... out of combat, or out of character? Nah, this is like, I'm just kind oh. of mumbling, like, whispering this to the other two, like, rolling it off them. It's fine, we could Meanwhile, find some, uh, Roland powder. and I are having a real people's conversation. <laughs> yeah, either way, I, don't, I would rather not spend the night here. They know where we are. They're going to come for us in the morning. I like the look of them. I don't think anything, any job they have to offer is going to be one I'd take. Well, we've got rope. You can hang yourself out the window right there, then. Is it like a sheer drop off the window? Or is there a, like a roof or anything below we can jump onto? Um, it's a drop out the window. It's a second story drop, so. What do you think, Kathleen? I think we have no good options. But caught trying to get out of here might be one of our worse ones. From from my window, how many ways can I see out of town? 
You see three. The one that we came from. One to the south and one west. Okay, and there's only there's only two patrols. That's right. And they're just kind of mo wandering the, the main roads. Is this the only building that has really lights on in the town? Um, that you can see from the window, yes. Okay, so there's two patrols of three, and then about 12, 13 guys in the tavern hanging out. Yeah. So I was trying to get out, we might have to ice one patrol at most. Can uh, we see a church with a bell tower or anything nearby? Um... I mean, yeah, there's gonna there's gonna be a church in town. You probably saw one walking in. You can't see one from the angle. But uh, yeah, there's a church in town. This a full. I would be this concerned nearly a full about moon. being up and able to basically see the whole town. I'm sorry. What was that? I would be concerned about there being like a watch up there that would be able to see the whole town mm. if we tried to leave. Either way, we're in a bad spot. If we wait till the morning, we're completely on their terms and their turf. If we leave now, we might have more problems though. I'm gonna open the door and just peer down the hallway a bit both ways, see if any- like, just slightly see if anybody's, uh, you know, around. There's no one in the hall. Are the other- rooms occupied that we could could we tell at all um you can't tell that's what the innkeeper told you doors are all closed lights are off yes okay well if we're gonna run we're gonna want to do it soon but uh we should probably have a place marked out for where we should go so last look at the map where would we run how far would it okay. be okay laying the map out so we can all take a look at it So where are we at right now? We're at Thurgan? Yes. We want to get to where We can meet up though. about a mile. If we get separated, we meet up a mile south of town. So we basically, we basically want to get out of the south entrance then. We want to be going south. Yes. Sorcerers are on Karlstad, and we want to head to Wurzburg. And yeah, we don't exactly want to go to Karlstad. Right now, anyway. Uh, night is dark and full of terrors. It is almost a full moon right now, though, so sneaky may be difficult, if, especially if someone's up in that watchtower. Well, can we see anybody in the watchtower? We can't see the church tower from where we are. Okay. What are the odd? What do you think the odds are that we just pay the fee and leave in the morning? You think he'd have it keep us around and give us more trouble? If we cooperated, might remember he's looking. He might be looking for us for a job because of the uh, in our. Oh, yeah, uh, he did say he just wanted a toll. However, never mentioned what the toll was or what the price oh, would I, be. Because out of character, because I think I fucking like because of the I'd show him the insect insect head. He's like, what? So. Yeah, he never said how much it was. Does that river run through town? It appears to. Does it actually go through the center of town, or is it on, like, on one side of it only? You do not want to go in a river at the dead of night. That is a sure way to get yourself killed. Especially not in October. Yeah, yeah never mind. I mean, it's the, Germany, yeah, not California. It's all on one side. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our best way out is going to be a simple one, if we just get out the south gate and put as much distance as us between this, between, uh, this place and the next. Does this place have a stable that we could, that we could see on the way in, like horses? Well, I mean, that, that oh, Anna's, still horses. That I like that gonna thinking. have a, a stable, yes. Okay, okay, this place, well the thing is, like, if we, we have to steal their horses, and set the rest free, or else they're going to be on top of us before we can get to Vertsba, uh, to... Zell, Zell, and 
Out of can... character, did we see the stable coming in? Got any idea where that would be? Um, you didn't see it, so you'd have to you assume it. that it would be around the back. To the north somewhere? Yes. So I think our options are sneak out and try to steal the horses, set the rest free. Um, or we can try to go out on foot and go over land. Through the wilderness will be a lot harder for them to track us. It's less than, it's less than five miles between here and uh, Zunk. Like, that's pretty short distance. We could, like, we could actually get there before the night's up. I don't want to enter another town tonight in case the same thing is happening there. They may even be working in league with them and could alert uh, people in Thungan. Or we could set up an ambush. We could get out of town, set up an ambush, any riders that come by, we kill them. Well, really let's like think killing. about this, though. They're bandits, right? We assume killing so. Killing people isn't exactly great for business, because that's fewer people they can toll, right? Well, unless, unless they kill us and take our armor and sell it, you know? I don't know what you're talking about. I only have leather armor. I ain't got shit. Well, either way, I don't think uh, he would react very well if we turned him down on his offer and refused to pay. I'm fine doing, for the most part, whatever. I'm good for a job, but if you two are too pansy to stay, let's get going. Should probably get down the road and possibly set up an ambush. Just for a day. I mean, ambush. Yeah. How would you know who it is coming down the road? You hide in the trees, and you get a good look. You had got a little good look on, it's like, the middle of the night. Got a good yeah. They won't be here. They won't be moving through towards the morning. We got a good look of uh, sixteen of their nineteen man. Sorry, the uh, the three there. It's thirteen of their sixteen man operation. Know what a couple of them look like. Plus, we'll know any armed riders coming from uh, the coming from this direction are almost certainly going to be these bandits coming at night, True. anyways. So you want to go out on foot, not take the horses? Yeah, taking the horses could have, have some uh, bad repercussions. I think we get stuck more easily that way. Yeah. Horse thieves get hung. Surprisingly, more than killing people, because killing people don't leave no witnesses. <laughs> what do you say? I think if we do it, we should do it very early in the morning. More like four in the morning. This just Three feels like a bad idea, especially since Carl started suggesting we do it. Would you rather stay here and deal with them in the morning when they have 16 guys and know where we are? I don't feel Well, like they haven't killed us yet, which is a good thing. Because we promised to talk in the morning. They'll be expecting things in the morning. I'm just gonna lay down on my bedroom. I'm fine either way. You two make any decisions you want. I glance disprovingly at Carl as he takes the only bed. Bed <laughs> roll. No, <laughs> he's in the bed roll. Oh, oh okay. Alright, it's up to you, Kathleen. I will do either. I don't like the odds of fighting our way out in the morning. We may be able to get out by just paying a little bit. Would we even need to fight out, though? They said there's a toll. But I like my money. <laughs> so you, you want to try and sneak out? I don't know. I have no idea how much that would be. If it's something cheap, that would be easy to pay for. If it's something really expensive that we couldn't afford, then there might be trouble. 
Actually, on second thought, they seem like common bandits. I think it would be a reasonable amount in the morning. Is it about, is it still midnight or so? One o'clock? Yeah, probably about one now. If we stay here for the night, would you two be willing to take watches? So we don't get surprised by then coming in the room in the morning? That would probably be wise anyway. Carl? Carl's probably wake. already asleep. Hijo de puto, Carl. At least he's not humming. At least he's not humming. There is actually a cadence to his snores. <laughs> like, it's not just random snoring. It's like, it's in the background. <laughs> it changes like a little, it's a little melodic, a melodical. Alright, I'll take the first watch if you, uh, if I can wake you up around, I guess that'll be 4.35. Okay. Alright. Uh, we can swap bed, the bed too when I uh, when you get up. Yeah. All right. I is the door on the opposite side of the window. I assume it's like a hallway door, and then the windows on the outside of the building. Yeah, I mean it's not the the opposite side. It's um. show you a picture of the door. It doesn't matter too much. I just want to position myself in a way that I'm prepared to handle anyone barging in the door, but also can keep a decent eye out on in the window. All right, so you can see. Oh, there's a full map of this place. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can put two of me. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. I think I dragged him into the block area somewhere, so you can delete him if you want. Oh no! <laughs> I, I can make a new Kuno, it's okay. No, it's Tuno. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll keep a, a watch out then. And I will go until 4.30 if nothing happens. Okay. What did you guys actually end up in planning to do? <laughs> Your character doesn't know, he's asleep. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, we're just we're trading off watches in the night and staying here. Just to make sure no one barges in and surprises us. I guess the other thing to remember too is Slaughter's supposed to be meeting up with you eventually. Just a couple I don't know of days behind you down the road. If you care about With your heck, fourth friend. a slaughter person. <laughs> Wait, he's already in the party? I'm just going to meet him somewhere along the way? I'm, I'm assuming he's in the party, but he uh, he got held up. Doing personal business. So, we have so a what you're saying is don't vein. make trouble here so he can pass through? <laughs> but then they're not going to know it's him, so I don't know. It's me. What is Slaughter's name? I don't think he has a name yet. Well, tell them that a man named Slatter will be coming through, and he's bad news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's very, very rich. And he's, he's, he's very he doesn't wealthy. look like it, but he's very, very wealthy and pretends to be poor. <laughs> 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 and his family is extremely rich and heavy ransoms for him. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, anyways, I'm going to take the watch in. Let I... Uh... 
Kathleen sleep. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't look at your stream. I just saw that that showed more. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. Actually, it doesn't really matter at all. It doesn't matter. You're all gonna do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, how about we call it it's a actually nightmare? Good. Guardian, it's actually good for you that I have the dog. It's the one reason I didn't just start fighting everyone in there with Vile. Like, if it was just me and Vile, I think we probably would have just started the fight and see what happened. But I don't want the dog to die. And lucky for you, <laughs> that guy does not engage every fight we see. <laughs> oh, man. God. I don't know if I would you have you know you would have died. If you would have started, that's a good chance. But I would have been down or burnt down the tavern with us. So, <laughs> I mean, we would have would have been glorious. Total party kill. Well, every single time Slider and I are trying to determine how many guys we can take down with us, and you're determining how to like run away. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we can we can take them. Pretty much. All right, I think we're set for the night. Yep, I think so. All right. Did anything happen? Kathleen, you, it's time to wake up. You better, or I will join you in bed there. Thank you. <laughs> Kuno can share the bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess until next week.